Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. We've got, I think, one more thing to turn into Moira. If Billy would get out of the way. Hey. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Oh yeah. After a lot of searching, I've got the real story. Aha! Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it. It began as a research station, which is why it's still a scientific haven. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time, you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Sweet. Now I'll sell those right back to you. And now my research of your book is complete, isn't it? Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor. I have to admit, I was worried it would go over some people's heads, but it should be fine. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. Let me guess. You need me to go print and distribute it, right? So cynical. <laughs> no, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. What makes you think I'd force you to handle something so dangerous? Now you should just lie back and bask in the praise for helping with the book. So, how's the final product? Oh, it's great! Why, with the information here, we'll save hundreds of lives, maybe even thousands. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But first, here, the very first copy of our book goes to you! I couldn't have done it without you, my wasteland survival expert. Sweet. Uh, survival skills improved. Nice. So, uh, quick sales. Absolutely. Good hunting. See ya. Come back soon. Well. Finally. Now, we've got something else to do. Um, yeah. So, at the request of one of you, I have installed almost all the DLCs, save Mothership Zeta, because, let's face it, that's the weakest one. And, we're gonna head to the pit. To anyone who can hear me, my name is Werner. I come from a settlement to the north. I have information of great value to anyone willing to help me free my people. Please, help us. This message repeats. To anyone who can hear me, my name is Werner. I come from a settlement to the north. I have information of great value to any... Alrighty then. Now, I have stashed most of my stuff back at... The back at my house, so I've got little Macintosh, Chinese assault rifle, and old painless, plus a few grenades and a knife. And you might have noticed that I also leveled up uh, in between episodes, and I uh, just bumped up small guns to 90, so we'll need to grab the bobblehead for that eventually. Uh, repair up a bit, as well as medicine. And I got the comprehension perk. And, uh, also, I think it's a good thing to mention about this guy's name. Even though it's spelt Werner, it's of German origin, so it should be pronounced Werner. Anyone who knows about the beginnings of modern rocketry should know that. And, uh, being that there's another German character in this game, the Overseer of Vault 112, Von Braun. That's 
again, another German name, and the characters pronounce that correctly. So, it makes me think that uh, the voice actor for this guy, hello, because it was an add on, they were a bit pressed for time and just didn't correct the VA when he made the mistake. Either that or it's more to do with law in that it's that this guy pronounces his name that way because of extremely distant German origin. But that's just me speculating, so as usual, cut to the interesting bits. Here we are. Hey there, buddy. Thank you for your help with those guys. They finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who I am. Who are you? I came because of the radio message. What's the problem? Well now, a hero. Look at you. I come from a place far to the northwest. It's called the Pit. It's... Well, let's be honest. The place is a nightmare. Radiation, mutation, disease. But the worst of it, my people, some of the only survivors, are slaves. No big deal, you're thinking? It's a rough world, but I have a chance to free them. All I need is an outsider's help before that chance is gone. Did you escape or something? Yeah, that's why these guys were after me. As long as I know about the cure, I'm a threat. So I ran. And you can be damn sure there'll be more of them coming. Wait, slow down. Cure for what? The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water. And the air, you can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get you. But the bastards who have my people, they found a way to cure it. And once they have that cure perfected, we don't stand a chance. So we need the cure to bargain for our freedom. What do we need to do first? Well, you might try a disguise. They probably won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. That should be our first move. Yeah, disguise. I'll do that. Okay. You go get the outfit. I'll stay here and meet up with you when it's done. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. You won't be coming back here for a while, so keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Alrighty then. Time to go get a change of clothes. And sorry about that, game crashed. So, once again, change your clothes. Here we are. Now let's hope we can talk our way past these people. Hello. You're not the guy we're waiting for, so we've got nothing to talk about. One of you will talk to me. Unless you're looking to take a vacation from your freedom. Hey, are you the guy from the pit? Yeah, that's me. I'm here to buy these slaves. About damn time you showed up. We've been waiting here for fucking ever. Whatever, man. You're here now. I just hope you're ready to do business. We got three. Usual price, 200 each. Boss says no trade, so cash only. This is too much work. I'll just kill you. Oh, I knew not to trust you pit bastards. I'm under it. Oh, you sneaky bitch. Ooh, there's more. There you are. Uh, 
Okay, okay, okay. So I heard a bit here. Where is it? There you are. Boom. Please help us. Oh my god. I You killed them. Are you real? You're here to save us? Where are we going? I'm not taking you anywhere. But I need your clothes. Now. My clothes? Off my back? Well, I guess. You did help us. I'm sure... I'm sure I'll make do out there in the wastes. I... Don't worry about me. I'll find something, I'm sure. Take them, please. Take them. Eh. Good. Now get out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, we will. Thank you again. You're very kind. Yep. Oh, yeah. Piss off. And there's Verna. Alright. You got a disguise. Good. Good. We're ready to head out. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. Got it. Alright. Meet you by the tunnel. Whatever you say, hero. Just don't take too long. We need to get started. This ain't a short trip. Got plenty for the Chinese assault rifle, bit low for little Mac, and plenty for old painless, plus grenades and a knife. I'm set. Jump on the cart. I'm right behind you. And travel to the pit. We've got to keep moving. There's no time. Hang on, someone's coming. Let me do the talking. Uh-huh. Okay, so there's one on the roof. One right there. And one there. And one up there. Alright then. Hey, hey! What are you guys doing here? I might ask you the same thing. You've got a lot of guts coming back to this place, when Yeah? Well, I guess that's the difference between us. I have a lot of guts. You don't. Oh my god! Show! Show! Damn. I think I got him. No? You did. Teach you to mess with me. Bro. All right, all right, he's dead. New They're not. Something. All right, asshole. Ten mils. Are you shooting at more corpses? Yes, you are. Oh, stim pack. Alrighty, that was uh, a bit weird. Uh, you coming or what? This is as far as I can go. It's up to you from here on out. If you dress up like a slave, you should be able to get past the gates without a problem. Once you're inside, find a slave named Medea. She'll be able to help you. Remember, your goal is to get access to Asher and find the cure. After you have it, I'll contact you. You sure I can't sneak weapon in? Well, you might be able to get a small gun or a knife past them if you conceal it just right. I can do that for you, but I can't promise that they won't see it and just gun you down. You want the gun or the knife? I'll take the gun. Okay, here you go. Don't take it out until you get past the gate. You clear on what you need to do? Get in, 
Find Medea. Got it. That's it. Good luck. We're counting on you. And I'll keep my stuff on until I'm near the gate because there are a few nasties around here. And there's a few of them now. Yeah. Yep, should be able to skirt around. And this bridge is trapped and guarded. Pit bridge. Disarm. And I can't jump over that wall. Great. Now, unlike when I went to find the family, I gotta keep my eyes open and not run into any traps. I also probably don't need to pick up every single freaking mine there is, but... Yeah. Oh! Ow! And I just jumped straight on the bear trap. Awesome. Doggies! Not anymore. There's a sniper up there. Somewhere. More traps. And once again, I can't get over there. Am I now stuck? No. More mines. don't want to go there. There you are. Stop moving for a second. I said stop moving! One shot, one kill. Holy Jesus. Ow. Ow. I might have to bring back the trap counter from couple episodes ago. Alright, nearing the gate. So, use stims while I can. Put that on, take that off. And de-equip that. Oh, mine. All right. Give me that. Anything you got? Well, I'll be able to repair my stuff at least. I'll do that now, actually. No. Okay then. Come on, let's see along. I want your rifle. <laughs> I love it. Another slave wanted back here, huh? What's wrong? Couldn't get over the bridge? You're lucky I don't fucking paste you. Why, I should... Wait, what the... Now, would you look at this? Where'd you get all this shit anyway? Whatever. Mine now. Thanks, Gab. I hit the jackpot today. 
Now get back in there and get the work. Or next time I'll just stake you out there for the trods. All right. At least they got a gun. Now let's go find Medea. Hello. Runner sent you, didn't he? Good. He finally found someone. We can't talk out in the open like this. Meet me in my house as soon as you can. We'll talk there. All right. Yep, she's just moseying along. All right, we can talk now, but we shouldn't take too long. They saw you come in here, so they'll come looking for you if you take too long. I have a plan for getting you into Asher's palace, but we need to wait. In the meantime, you're going to have to blend in. What can I do so I don't stand out? I don't know what you saw on the way in, but the guards don't really take kindly to workers just standing around. You're gonna need to look busy, or they'll sniff you out pretty quickly. And if they get too close, you don't look like you belong here. So I'm going to send you out to do a job that will keep you away from the guards. Whatever it is, I can handle it. Outside of the mill, there are a bunch of old steel ingots just lying around. Every so often, the foreman puts out a work order to collect them. It's practically a death sentence, and they never assign it to anyone. They make us pick who's going to do it. Bastards. That doesn't sound very dangerous. Yeah, well the area is full of trogs. The hell's a trog? They're what most of us hope we never become. The contamination gets to everyone to some degree. For most people, it's some form of cancer. Sometimes harmless, sometimes not. For others, the contamination drives them insane. If it doesn't kill them, it changes them. They become animals, deformed and inhuman. It's not pretty. They're everywhere and they kill on sight. So do I. So where can I get some weapons? I, I can't really help you there. Ask around, maybe check with Marco in the mill. He's been making some of our tools into weapons. You might even be able to find a gun on one of the dead bosses out in the steel yard. They... What was that? What's going on in here, Medea? Who is this scam? Um, nothing. Uh, nothing, sir. I, I was just telling this new worker about the job the foreman posted. Oh, yeah? So he's the one that's going out to the steel yard, huh? Yes, sir. I told him what he needs to do. He, he knows. <clears throat> Ten ingots, as fast as he can. Well then, I hope you also said goodbye. <laughs> Alright, playtime's over. Get to work, grinders. Asher. Ready who? So you're the lucky scab gathering ingots for me today, huh? Yep, that's me. Good to see a little enthusiasm for once. Well, follow me. I actually like this guy. So, still your duty, huh? Who'd you piss off to get that death sentence? Actually, don't even tell me. It's not like you'd be alive for all anyways. Don't look at me, scab. All right. You're gonna lead the way? See that fell up there? You'll be seeing lots of those. And if you survive them, you'll probably run into those crazies that live up on the blast furnace. Tell you what, why don't you do me a favor and get killed close to the door? That way, I don't want to walk so far to loot your corpse, eh? Here's the door. Get out there and grab some ingots. Don't come back without at least ten. Turn them into me and I'll see if I can slip a little something your way. All right, then. Now, there's a little thing about these ingots. 
while this quest is active, they weigh squat. 556, five, puppy pins, always good. So, steel ingots. So, yeah, they only weigh one. Well, they say they weigh one, but uh, while the quest is active, nothing. So, I'll just put all this on there. So, I'm not going to drag you guys around this entire steel yard, because I'm going to grab all 100 right off the bat. So, thank you all for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. Until next time, see you later.